All right, so we got a, a 2022 Toyota Mirai. This essentially here is the, uh, the fuel stack for the hydrogen. And so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to uh, take the hydrogen tanks, disassemble the hydrogen tanks. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to lift the car up right now and uh, show you how to take them off. As you can see, the system is pretty, pretty complicated. That's your fuel stack here. What we have here on the inside, all the interior is already completely gone. Uh, you have the, the, the battery system right behind, behind here. I'm going to show you from this side. This is your battery that stores your electri electricity. And uh, right now we're going to lift this car up. Took down the, uh, the, the shields that protect the, f the hydrogen tanks. This car has three tanks. One, this is the one in the back. And then the one in the middle is the middle one and then there's the front one the big long one all right so these are the hydrogen tanks that store your hydrogen you can see from the bottom here we have your um, hydrogen stack right above us that's your hydrogen stack right there and what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to take these apart there are a couple of steps you need to do, right? And so there's your electric motor right here that drives the wheels. Uh, it's a rear wheel drive vehicle. It's not a, it's not an all wheel drive car. So it's a rear wheel drive. The process, you have your manual cut off valves. One, they need to be fully closed. That's the first step. And there are three of these valves on each tank has one. One here, one on this side here, and one on the front tank as well. All these need to be fully closed. Once they're closed, you can then proceed to the uh, to this little knob right here then this is safe to unscrew it and release the extra hydrogen that is that is basically stored in here so this is definitely just regular hydrogen and gas stored in these tanks so basically once you have these valves cut off then you can proceed to take this off and to release the hydrogen from the system i'll show you how to do that real quick okay so once you've got these right here you once they're tightened fully that means they're, the tank now is closed you can see right here we close this one off close that one off and we also close the, this one off now we can proceed to this to this re, to this right here watch okay so let me see that real quick okay so now we can safely unscrew this little thing and you'll see you'll hear a little bit of the hydrogen escaping from here you're gonna have to let it escape fully and make sure that you're in a well ventilated area. Make sure that there is no uh, uh, ignition or sparks or anything like that. It's very dangerous. But once, that's, once that is completely off, then you can uh, proceed to taking these off and you're pretty much set to take the tanks off. Okay, so now this is good. That's it. So once that's done, this means there is no more. Okay, that's done. Oops, that's gone. So that means all the lines are free of uh, hydrogen. So now you can basically proceed to these here and open these up. That's what the... Okay. Right, so now that's it. And what we did is uh, we drained the system from uh, of hydrogen fully. So we basically ran the car out of uh, out of hydrogen, emptied the the tanks fully. So that's it. And now this tank is now free to be disassembled. The same procedure for these two tanks. And once that's done, you can then lower the tanks off.
the vehicle. That's pretty much it. All right, so now if you, in case you're wondering, once we got these off, um, you can also drain the tanks out of any excess hydrogen that's left in them. What you want to do is very, very careful again. You got to be in a very well ventilated area. Now we're going to slowly release any hydrogen if there's any left in the tank. I don't think there is any though, because we drained the system. It's just to be on the safe side, make sure that there's these tanks are free of any hydrogen because we're going to take them down. Now, as you can see, I'm opening up the valve here and I'm pretty much open. And so this thing is uh, pretty empty. That means there's no hydrogen in these tanks. Yeah, so I'm all, all the way at the end. So that's it. All hydrogen is gone of, off this tank. There's no uh, hydrogen in this tank. Uh, yeah, so you can now basically take this down, safely store it, or do whatever you want with the tank. So if you need any Toyota Mirai parts, Extreme Auto parts, we got them. Uh, give us a call or contact us, and we have all these parts for these uh, Mirais. In case you're wondering what the actual fuel stack looks like, well, this is it. This is already pulled from the vehicle. This is um, essentially the the heart of the vehicle. Uh, this is where the hydrogen is being fed into, and it gets in contact with oxygen, and through a chemical reaction creates electricity, which is stored in the battery of the car. But uh, this is actually it. This is the hydrogen system, the fuel stack. This is what it looks like. It's a so in case you need one, give us a call. Extreme Auto Parts.